Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to a, another drinks review. Today we are viewing a, another one of the Mountain Dews, but this one is going to be on the Liberty Brew, which is basically 50 flavours all in one, which is incredible if you think about it, but we'll, we'll talk about more of that in a second. So I've got this particular bottle off of a American, well not an American website, but a British website selling and, you know, American drinks and products. Uh, it was called the Land of Munchies. And I think it was like around two pounds for the bottle. I actually didn't, forgot to check the email before I started, but it wasn't that expensive. I was actually quite impressed with the price for what it is. Um, so yeah, it was off the off the website. Didn't find this one in the shop. So I give you guys a 460 of the bottle. So it is a 500 ml bottle or 16.9 uh, FL ounce or 1.05 pint. And Going around the label, we have the, it's, it's fairly simple. We have the, you know, kind of usual Mountain Dew logo kind of slanted into the side. And also being Liberty Beer, we have, you know, pictures of, I guess, you know, what do you want to call it? Pictures of flags and the, and the bald eagle and the clouds and the, uh, and a bike and something like that. So I guess obviously to represent America. So it's, it's fairly cool, fairly cool labeling. And then on the back, we just have the ingredients and stuff, which we'll get to in a second as well so around the top we can have these little you know as you can see a bit more design on the on the box or some of the box on the uh, on the bottle and then just a few bits at the bottom as well i don't know if you can really see that kind of little patterns and then just a red cap on the top with nothing on on the actual top of it so limited edition these were around in the summer at some time i had it for a little while so like i said the website still had them so i thought i'd buy one uh, yeah 50 flavors so that is literally, well, 50 flavors, I mean, blimey. That could test out absolutely anything, but let's be honest, it's more of a market employee thing. Oh yeah, it's got 50 flavors in it, but then it's it's, you know, it's pretty much gonna taste the one thing, isn't it? But I really don't know what. <laughs> so one serving, and we have nutritional facts rather than information, because of course it's American. And manager is owned by PepsiCo, if you didn't know, or Pepsi. So of course, as this is an American drink, we have our famous high fructose corn syrup. This is probably going to be very syrupy. And we have a whopping 65 grams of sugar in this bottle, which is crazy. So I definitely will not be drinking all of this today if it's nice. I'll definitely be spreading this out over a couple of days. So reading the actual ingredients, what do we have? So these have got caffeine, of course, managed to, but it's very minimal. Uh, it total caffeine content is 78 milligrams for the total. So that's about, what's that, about 15 milligrams per 100 mil, something like that, 10 to 15, something like that. Uh, around the 15 milligrams mark so it's quite low on caffeine compared to an actual energy drink and i think apart from that there's nothing else really interesting on the bottle nope so it's nice and cold i have got a cup and uh, let's get straight into it hopefully it won't explode over me so like i said i really don't know what to expect in terms of flavor 50 flavors well we'll just have to find out right don't explode and there we go 69 grams of sugar, that is it's so, 65 soy, it's just it's incredible. Oh, is this not fizzy? Or very minimal fizzy. Not many, it seems to be lightly sparkling rather than fizz, which I prefer. All right, let's put that there. So yeah, it doesn't seem to be a fizzy at all. It seems to be just on lightly sparkling side, whether it's lost some of its bubbles due to the travel and I guess, you know, from shipping abroad, which is fair enough. But as far as I'm concerned, this one is definitely not, you know, full on fizz like Coke or something like that. It seems to be more likely sparkling, which I generally prefer anyway. The color is indeed blue, looks, you know, like an artificial blue, but you know, who cares? It's a little bit see-through. You can have to see me through there, hello. Um, fair few bubbles on the side, but for the most part, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice blue. It's a nice kind of darker blue, but it's a really good kind of, strong blue um yeah it does look nice uh, let's give it a closer smell see what it smells of oh it smells like oh my god it smells like some form of harry bow or something some form of gummy sweet oh my god it smells like some form of gummy sweet something like that something along the harry bow pick and mix type range you know them gummy sweets oh wow that's incredible hmm Okay, well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Ooh. 
Wow. That's, that's incredible flavor. Wow, that is really, really unique. Wow. And straight away, yes, it literally does like, it literally is like you are drinking gummy sweets. That's crazy. That is literally liquid gummy sweets in, in, in a bottle. That's incredible. I, I can't believe, <laughs> literally gummy sweets in a, in a bottle. Can't believe that. All them flavors together, I guess, makes it taste like gummy sweets. So the actual drink, well, yes, it is definitely, I mean, for having 65 grams of sugar, it definitely doesn't seem as sweet as it should be. Like it's definitely sweet, don't get me wrong, but it definitely doesn't taste as sweet as 65 grams of sugar's worth. Um, syrupy wise, yes, it's definitely got a syrupy aftertaste. Hence the high fructose corn syrup and being an American drink. So it's definitely feeling like it's got the that syrup in the aftertaste after you've got your flavour. And in terms of, I guess, overall, the strongness of the drink. Yeah, it is quite a strong flavour. Like, I really noticed the gummy flavour. So I'm drinking the drink. And, yeah, at the beginning, I get hit with, with the sweetness. And then I get literally, like, a whole bag of just, like, melted gummy bears of just goes into my mouth and then after you get hit with that gummy bear flavor you then get that syrup aftertaste and you get that really sickly aftertaste um which is then of just it's literally just syrup uh and it's not really much there's not much of an actual gummy bear flavor in the aftertaste it's just literally a syrup aftertaste not a bad thing i'm just saying you know comparing it to what the rest of the drink is but yeah that's the aftertaste with the uh with the strong strong syrup but Literally, guys, that is fairly simple. It is literally like drinking melted gummy bears or some other form of, you know, uh, jelly sweet, if you want to call it, melted in a, in a bottle. That's, that's crazy. Drink it. Mm, get that flavour. And then that syrup comes in. Yep, all strong at the end. And then it kind of just, yeah, just dissipates into nothing after that. But yeah, yeah. Um, not much else to say about that, it, really. It's just, <laughs> I'm just in shock that it just tastes like, just like, you know, melted gummy bear sweets. Hmm. If anything, I mean, yes, you know, it does taste, I'll try and expand a bit more on what gummy bears. I mean, yes, it does taste of like the melted gummy bears, but it's like, it's not a total, you know, it's not a total carbon copy of that, you know, because there might be a few back notes of other flavours in there, just generic sweet flavors but because it is more on the soupy side and it is sugary you know it seems like there's just more of a bit of sweetness in the background you know amongst around that gummy bear flavor of the drink so it's kind of you know i'd like to see for example i'd like to see the drink without you know the high fructose corn syrup and maybe a bit less sugar and see how it comes out we'll see if the gummy bear flavor is just the same or if it's still any good but you know that's pretty much all i could say about the drink you literally are drinking melted gummy sweets or gummy bears something like that or whatever they're called the bear the bear sweets whatever brand they are whether it's a haribo or a third party brand doesn't matter it just tastes like you're eating some form of haribo or something like that so let me toss them out the bottle before i finish and then i shall end the video yeah still tastes still tastes like it out of the bowl hmm Melted sweets in the bottle, how interesting. Oh well, I'll save the rest of that for another day because it's so sugary. I don't want to take 65 grams of sugar in the space of 10 minutes, but there you go. But regardless, it is nice. It's not nasty. Obviously, maybe a bit too sweet for some people, maybe a bit too syrupy for some people, but it's an American drink, so it's expected. Um, but as it is, and as the flavour, and as a gummy bear flavoured drink, as it's coming out as, that's, all, that's what all the 50 flavours kind of have come together for. Then for that, yeah. It's great. It's nice. I really don't have too many, or don't really have any drinks often that taste of gummy sweets. So there you go. So that drink does get a thumbs up for me for the taste, but for the sugar and the rest of it, well, you know, you'll have to drink them in moderation. But there we go. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.